Everything in the world has a resonant frequency, whether it's this table, this glass, or even my head. So when you tap the table, what you're hearing is a vibration, the resonant frequency vibrating, which turns into sound, which you hear in your ears. If you take, say, three hacksaw blades, each of these has got their own resonant frequency. The shortest one has the highest resonant frequency. And the thing about resonant frequencies, because they're unique to the object, if I begin wobbling this wood fast, what happens is I'm hitting the resonant frequency of that short hacksaw blade. So it wobbles like crazy. The others don't, Ooh, if I get it right. And if I slow the vibration down and wobble very slowly, I hit the resonant frequency of the tall hacksaw blade, and the others don't really wobble much. Now, with a speaker, what happens is the paper cone vibrates at the front. That produces a sound which you hear. That's what you want. What you don't then want is that sound to make the casing of the speaker vibrate. I'll show you what I mean. I've got two glasses here. They're both identical. If I make this one sing by rubbing my finger around the top of the glass, I'll make this one resonate and see what happens to the wire when that happens. It takes a little while, usually, to get this going. And as that one is resonating with that sound, it wobbles and the wire falls off. Now imagine that's your speaker casing. This is the speaker casing. It is vibrating. That vibration interferes with the sound that's producing, so you mess up the sound. You lose the quality of the sound. Wilson Banesh have created speakers that are incredibly rigid with all this modern technology they're using, and that gives you perfect sound, fantastic quality. Not much like that. <laughs>